This video explains how to extract the first and last columns from a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step for this Python tutorial, we need to import the pandas library as you can see in the first code snippet of this tutorial. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the pandas library and the data frame constructor, as you can see in the second code snippet. So in this code snippet, we are creating a new data frame and we are printing this data frame to the bottom. And then you can see below this code snippet that our data frame contains five rows and five columns, which are called x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. So if we want to extract the first columns of this data frame, we can use the code that you can see in the third code snippet. And in this code snippet, we are using the illog attribute. And within the illog attribute, we are specifying that we want to keep all the rows of our data frame. However, we are also specifying that we want to keep only the first three columns of the data frame. So after running this code snippet, a new data frame is returned at the bottom. And you can see that this data frame contains only the first three columns, x1, x2, and x3 of our input data frame. Similar to that, we can also extract the last columns from our data frame, as you can see in the next code snippet. And in this code snippet, I'm once again using the illog attribute. And this time I'm specifying that I want to keep only the last two columns from our data. So if you run these lines of code, another data frame is created, which is called data last n. And this data frame contains only the last two columns, x4 and x5 of our data frame. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.